it's another wet and windy start to the day. I'm going to show you a couple of aspects of boat life. One is filling the water tank and the other dealing with the stove. I have a Morso Squirrel 1410 stove. I'm just looking in the ash pan to see whether I think it needs emptying. I've decided it doesn't as it can go another day. During my recent four day cruise I didn't empty the ash pan at all. That's because the coal that I burn creates very little ash. I'm going to refill my coal bucket this is rather a laborious job the way I do it as I pick the coals out one by one. I find that easier. It's not too uh, easy to pick up a 25 kilo bag and pour it out. So I tend to do it this way. Obviously once there's less in the bag I can pick the bag up and pour it straight into the bucket. It's quite a windy day today and the sun is right on my face which is quite pleasant. I am having to squint though. I keep two coal buckets on the go. One is in the cabin, always starts full obviously to um, fire the stove and the other one I keep on the deck so that when the one in the cabin is empty I can just swap them over and when the empty one comes back to the deck I'll either fill it up straight away or I'll wait and do it when I'm ready. I'm now going to show you the process of filling the water tank. The tank holds 150 gallons of water. The tank itself is formed by the sides of the boat, the bottom of the boat and the well deck. You may recall that when I first bought the boat I cleaned out the water tank I did show that in a video and I've put a link to that below. I'm just removing the filler cap. To the right of this is a breather pipe which prevents a vacuum from being formed and allows the water to be pumped out when the taps are turned on. I'm now extending the hose to reach the tap. The tap is on the unit which also houses the electricity supply. I always time the water fill. I normally start with 10 minutes. I check it after that period and then I will re-time according to what I think is necessary. It might be four, five or six minutes and I keep doing that until the tank is full. I've got the camera set up half on the boat and half on the jetty so um, there's quite a wind so the camera's moving up and down although it should be steady <laughs> you should see some rocking movement anyway it took about 16 minutes to fill the tank from just over half full to just under full that was the sort of usual time it takes so nothing uh, strange there sun is out as you can see it's quite a beautiful day I think having said that it's about to go behind a cloud can't believe it can you really but um, we had some heavy rain this morning that brightened up oh it's coming out again how lovely 
certainly lovely to see the sun, isn't it? It really makes a difference. Warms your heart, doesn't it? Warms your heart up. I thought I'd have a go trying to film me lighting the stove. I say have a go, it's difficult for several reasons. One is that space is very tight and it's difficult to get the camera in the right position. And then there's the question of the lighting and so forth to make sure you can see what I'm doing. The other problem, of course, is that I might light the fire and it might not take. Now that would be embarrassing. But anyway, I'm going to see what I can do. I always start by um, putting my gloves on. I like to keep my hands clean. I'm that sort of person, unfortunately. So I then get my, um, my fur lighters down. I normally put a couple of sheets of paper in the bottom and then some kindling with some fire lighters. I have some pieces of coal on the top and <laughs> make a bit of a mishmash of it and um, get it all going. So let's see how I get on. Can't say I've done a very good job of this. <laughs> it's because I can't reach into. Uh... <laughs> oh well, we'll see what happens, won't we? The trouble I'm finding is that the kindling is far too big, and it doesn't like to alight. That's not very good. <laughs> it's just that uh, I'm in a confined space with the cameras here and uh, it's the best I can do for the moment. I have actually been cutting the kindling with an axe to chop it down to more reasonable sizes. Health and safety won't allow me to show you how I do that. When lighting the fire both primary and secondary air vents should be fully open. You might just be able to hear the fire roaring. I open the ash pan door to help the fire draw, though the instruction manual does not recommend that. But given the restricted chimney height, I find it very helpful. I'm adding some more coals to help get the fire better established. The fan works automatically as the stove gets hot and it should help blow the heat down into the boat. And I tend to find it works reasonably well. But it's getting on. It may not look like much of a fire now but it will settle down and develop into something far better. The fire has settled down now, it's looking really nice, quite warm, <laughs> don't need a big fire tonight, I will add some more coals to it and stoke it, but um, I'm pleased with that. I've just stoked the fire, I've not added any more coals yet, if I could do it now couldn't I? Uh, 
that should be sufficient for now. It's the following day. I allowed the stove to keep on burning. I didn't really attend to it after I'd set it going, once I was happy with it. So I'm about to have a look and see what the state is now. It's gone out overnight as I expected, but I'm going to clean it out today and show you that process. There are some coals that haven't burnt right through, but I think we'll find much of it is now ash. Even that one that looks solid is gone. Yes, there's still some embers there. And most of it has actually burnt through. I don't know if you can see that ember there. The bits that haven't burnt I tend to, to leave and they will burn next time I light the fire. This is called riddling the grate. I do also periodically clean the area around the ash pan because a lot of ash does fall either side of the pan but I don't do that every day. It's something I review now and again and clean as necessary. I'll leave these pieces in here and they'll burn through the next time I light the fire. Just give it another riddle. That's ready now for next time I light the fire. So the ash pan today is quite full, so I'm going to empty this now. Once I've taken the ash pan out, I cover it with a piece of card. Then I take it out to the bin provided for disposal of ash. Just putting my shoes on. there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this look at a couple of aspects of boat life. Many thanks for watching, take care and bye for now.